guys and welcome back to my channel today is our last day in this house so we're finishing up the move i'm actually already really emotional <laughs> i'm so excited for like the new house and stuff but i think just knowing like the kids grew up here <laughs> i can't believe i'm already crying like knowing the kids grew up here and this is where dad and nan came and stuff so it's just like really bittersweet like i know it's a new chapter and i'm really excited for that but yeah it's just kind of hitting me now <laughs> This is a really good vlog already i'm just crying so yeah i'm getting stuck into packing the essentials today we officially don't need to be out and for another couple of days but ryan as we know he took all the furniture and everything like that so it's just gonna be easier to just get the essentials and get over there and then i can pack up the rest separately because obviously as we know we're moving to the unit and then in a few months we move to the new house so we've got to separate our belongings from like essential and then stuff we can have for the new house so that's the game plan today I wasn't really going to vlog today, but I was like, you know what, I may as well see how we go. It might be a hot mess of a vlog, but anyway. But yes, I'm um, going to get cracking now. Sorry for crying. But you know, it just it's it's just how it is. So we've got um, the neighbor's kids over here at the moment, which works really well because I keep the kids occupied. But we set up like the water. I don't know if you've seen on my Instagram stories. We've got this like big water slide thing. I'll try and show you. I just don't want to show the other kids' faces, obviously. Here we go. I'll show you. So we got it from like during COVID lockdown because it was a bloody shit show. And it's like, honestly came in so handy. We've got this guy. There are all the kids are on the trampoline at the moment, as you can hear. But yeah, it's coming so handy. It's the best. We have like so many beautiful neighbors here. And our neighbors are the ones that bought our house as well. But like, we are moving very close. They can still, kids can still play together. It's just not going to be as like easy. Like, I love that like the kids just come in and they like play and stuff like that. So it's a little bit, yeah, bittersweet again. It's one of those days, guys. But I've packed most of the kitchen, the essentials that we need. I'm going to tape it with the special, I've got this tape, as you guys saw in the last vlog. It has the labels for the different rooms. But this isn't very good. It doesn't like keep the box sealed properly. So I just use it for like the top. And then you can just see where you chuck things. But yes, getting there slowly. Can't leave this pace. Ryan concentrated on the garage today, didn't you, Dal? Garage and shed. So yes, the man stuff. The man areas. Guys, we know I'm not, I'm not a good writer. This is my really messy writing. But one thing I love to do when we move house is I actually like to obviously pop on what it is and I'll use the tape, but I actually list what's in there because there's nothing worse when you move into a house and you really need like the kettle or something and you don't know what box it's in and it takes an extra two seconds. So that's one thing I do. But I do need to do my handwriting course really bad. So this is like awkward angle. One little thing I do whenever we move house is I use towels to wrap things like plates and anything that's breakable, even like decor. Cause then you're not like using, like we, look, we have to use bubble wrap sometimes and that's fair. But where I can use things like towels and tea towels to wrap, you know, anything breakable, even like bed sheets and that, and then do that. And then you bring in them both at the same time.
All right, <laughs> my legs. When it comes to packing things like glasses, all I do is like chop up some bits of cardboard, just like when you buy glasses and I make sure it fits the box. So I run a few this way and then a couple this way. And then I just cut in little like slits and then I like fit them together and then it keeps little, makes them all like separate. Does that make sense? Hopefully. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's what I do. You guys like moving house because you get deep mackers. <laughs> what are you sitting on? Baby seat and a cushion. Very nice. Very nice. Yum. So good. I'm really regretting going to the gym this morning now. And I did legs as well. Anyway, I was planning on probably going to the unit tonight, but I just feel like we may as well just stay one more night, you know? Because the kitchen took me a while, and obviously because I'm filming it too, so it takes a lot longer as well, but like, there's no rush. We have until Tuesday, but um, yes, because of my podcast launch, I've got lots to do next early next week. So that's why I'm trying to like hurry it up a little bit. But anyway, I'll show you guys what we get up to tomorrow, which is Sunday. And we, so tonight's officially our last night here, which is what I said last night, but tonight, tomorrow night's, no, tonight's the last night. <laughs> I'm delusional, I'm absolutely delusional. Um, so I pretty much empty out most of the kitchen. Obviously, like I said, I have to um, pack separately. So there's like glasses and that I'll have for the new house that I won't be taking to the unit because there's just no need for them. Um, I've pretty much emptied all of the cupboards except for that top one above the fridge. Pretty much everything is empty. Um, so next is bathrooms. So there's all the kitchen there. So yes, tomorrow morning I want to get up decently early and do my wardrobe which I'm gonna be cutting my wardrobe in half again to see essentials for the unit and then taking the rest of the new house and the bathrooms and the kids' toys like in their bedroom, which isn't heaps because I wanted to do it during the week but they're at school and I don't wanna get in trouble for getting rid of things that they want. So that's the game plan tomorrow and me moving into the unit. So yes, wish me luck. Hopefully I have a really good sleep. I'm gonna read, I'm actually, what I finished reading um, a Court of Thorns and Roses series, Akata. Amazing, I'm obsessed. Nothing compares, honestly. So at the moment I'm reading the last book of Things We Never Got Over, which is Things We Left Behind. That's a really good rom-com if you're into it. So that's what I'm gonna read tonight, which I'll probably finish. I think I'm like 80% of the way through. So I'm just gonna veg out, read my book, and then start fresh tomorrow. All right, guys, it's Sunday morning. Today is the day. It's actually the day. So I'm gonna get started on everything upstairs pretty much. I still have to do my wardrobe. We don't have to get absolutely everything out today. It's just the essential so we can get into the unit tonight. Um, so we're sorted, but I will pack, I've pretty much packed up 80% of the house. Like I will be. So yes, our room has like, there's just shit everywhere at the moment. So just excuse the mess. But yeah, she's pretty empty. She's really sad. So yeah, last night was our very last night here. It's just crazy because this is where I built my business and just so many memories happen here and I'm so excited for like the future and like the new house. But it's just, yeah, the memories. That's what makes me very emotional. Because um, yeah, when we moved here, Willow was like three months old. So yeah, anyways. I want to get cracking while I've got some energy. I'm not going to the gym. I'm not even going for a walk today. I'm just getting shit done. <laughs> One tip with moving, and this is what we've always done, is any essential clothes and things like that we just pack ourselves a suitcase, especially like if you haven't set up your wardrobe and things like that, and especially the unit, I need to go get some drawers and stuff. It is so much easier. And then other clothes that you don't wear as often, you can chuck into a garbage bag, which I'll show you. But yeah, using suitcases, so I'm gonna have one each for the girls. So at least we have their school clothes ready for Monday, which is tomorrow, and we're ready to go. All right, okay. Oh. I was blogging first. 
<laughs> All right. I done it. So I packed school clothes for tomorrow. This is um from IKEA. This is how I pack. I had like all the girls um undies and socks. It's just like a draw insert. What's the name of it? And it's called Scubs. <laughs> so I use that to pack her undies and socks. All right. This is cute. I've never seen you wear this before. Yeah, we will pack that. Got your school stuff. Yeah, I can click it. Oh, what happened to this stuff? Don't you want this? How about these ones? Oh my god, we just forgot! You can we click that up? I think we're going to donate some of this stuff, Bob. Do you not wear all of this? No, I don't. That's the thing when you're the second child. You get all the hand-me-downs. Yeah. These are the draw inserts I use. They're from Little Label Co. They are amazing. So yes, that's how I pack up anything that's hanging. I do like to use the garbage bags that have like the string things, you know what I'm talking about, to, to like um, tie them around, but like these ones don't. So I just tied it and then just taped it up a little bit and then you chuck it straight into the wardrobe. Alright, kids' rooms are done. Kitchen's three quarters of the way done. I just gotta pack up the pantry. Linen closet won't be too hard because it's organised. Um, but yes, we're getting there slowly. The kids are just on their iPads, keeping themselves busy. But I'm gonna tackle my wardrobe now. Just the essential stuff, I think, first. And also my bedroom as well, because we're gonna be sleeping the unit tonight. So yeah, I think I'll just pack up like my little bits and bobs like this stuff. Anything for my bedside table. I usually just tape up the bedside tables because it's easier. I'll just make sure that there's no clutter. Tape it up. Anything that's drawers like that that won't wreck it, I'll just tape it. I'm bringing some books because it's me. I can't help myself. So that's going to be hard because I love my books. I just want to bring all of them. Like I have so many. Look, literally. And I've got more than that. So I've got to choose. What ones? Because I still obviously read my Kindle, but I love my physical books so, so much. All right, let's get cracking. Guys are getting there. Got most of my essentials packed and some stuff I'm donating as well. Makeup desk is clear out. She's nearly done. These ones I'll be bagging up um, before Tuesday, before we leave. But this is literally what I'm taking to the unit. This, and I've got some stuff in a suitcase ready to go. And I've got some stuff in this suitcase over there. I know it looks messy, but it is organized chaos, I promise. <laughs> so this section here, that's all the hanging stuff I'm taking besides some jackets and then everything else like my other tops and things I really love that I obviously don't want to get rid of I'm going to wait for the new house to get to those taking some jumpers out just the essentials really so I've taped up the bedside table they're the jackets I'm taking um and then these are just like everyday essential stuff I really need so like lots of workout clothes and stuff so and undies and socks just to live out of for the next couple days All right, we've got all the essentials ready to go to the unit. This is again, two part move, so. But anyway, we're going to the unit tonight. We're gonna to head over there now. Ryan's put the TV up and stuff. We're gonna just relax for the rest of the evening. What time is it? Yeah, it's 4.30, but I haven't stopped since this morning. So we're just gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. We've still got two days to like the rest of the stuff that's gonna to go to the new house. We're gonna get that out and clean it up. 
But yeah, end of an era, you know? It's crazy. How are you feeling about leaving the house? Are you a bit sad? Yeah. Yeah. You came here when you were only three months old. That's how long you've lived here for. Did you know that? Hey? Yeah. High on sugar? What have you got to do to move? I got a blue tongue. You've got a blue tongue. Alright, Ryan. How do you feel, my love? Right now, <laughs> can't really think. We've had two big days, massive three. days. Or, it's been like yeah, three. I think we've done about 20,000 steps per day. Yeah, it's been much. crazy to think like when we came here how different life was. Mm. Like I hadn't started step based planners. I well, know. I was three months old. We were you, you young. Were, well, you were, um, you were a makeup artist back then, were you? I was. I was a makeup artist. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. How things I'm have emotional. changed. I'm yeah. emotional. Ryan's probably too tired to be emotional. <laughs> I'm emotional. I think, yeah, off to the next chapter, but yeah. at least the house, um, at least we've got the unit half, I'd probably say three quarters set up for being yeah, livable. Like We're still going to go through all the boxes. Which, the but <laughs> you just um, wake up one day and it's all put together. So <laughs> the fairies come. They come in. And they, it's like the fairy does, you know, cleans up the house and does the kitchen and stuff. But it's, yeah. Yeah, so we'll anyway. get there. On to bigger and better things, I guess. I'll just cry later. Alright guys. So we've got just the essential, well the first lot of the essential stuff. We are absolutely buggered, so we're just going to veg out for the evening. Don't think I could pack anymore if I tried, or unpack. So yeah. So that's all the stuff in the garage. There's going to be a lot of this stuff I feel like when I unpack I will send to the warehouse so that we just won't need. Um, yeah, so we'll just see how we go. And I'm thinking I might actually make this the linen closet because um, as you guys saw in the last couple of vlogs, the one upstairs is very shallow. The linen closet goes to like here. So yes, we're going to make this one the linen closet, I think. Also decided this little Harry Potter section here, I'm going to make that like the kids drop off zone because there's quite a bit of room in there, well, for, for the unit. Um, so I'm gonna put some shelving in here and some hooks for their bags and stuff so this is out of the way. Because I think that's gonna be the trickiest part with anything. So I'm some Mario Kart guys. Mario. Yeah, my eyes will see something like this here. Very concentrated on you, Tom. <laughs> She's so concentrated. I like that shot. I like yeah, you got to know it's good. Oh, 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 oh. Do you reckon the girls will sleep better or worse now that they're sharing a room? Ah, uh, worse. <laughs> that makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, my gingerbread man spoon broke. It's not this mess, throw it in No. Alright. I normally have a rule if you don't use it within six months, you like, you should get rid of it. Okay, huh? Or sell it, or you know, just make better use of that space. Yeah. Alright. Watch your head please, last time you knocked yourself out. <laughs> Literally gave myself concussion once because I left the cupboard open and I smashed myself and then I vomited and I had to go to hospital. So I'm just going to set up the essentials, like cutlery cups, because I'm absolutely delusional at this point. And Ryan forgot the essential box, so he's gone back. So luckily, handover is actually Wednesday, so that's when we fully hand over the house. But we decided to get in here because most of the furniture was already here. It was just easier to get the kids sorted. Um, I'm going to do lunch orders for them tomorrow because it's just not going to happen. We well, don't have the fridge in here yet. We've got an esky happening. <laughs> we have the esky over there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and as you guys know, I only drink on special occasions. This is a special occasion. This is a special, I swear I've only had one. I'm just really tired. <laughs> oh, Lily's found her bed. Look how cute it is. Look. Look, she's found her little bed. So cute. Oh. So you guys, making your own little grid. Honestly, look, none of these are broken. And Ryan was really rough. So yeah, just use what you've already got. So much easier. Back in our day, 
You don't get to choose what you watch. The TV tells you what you watch. Yeah, there's no internet. Shia just thinks to watch. The TV. But you don't get to choose what you watch. So you gotta watch like ABC uh, channel. The TV I tells you what. Mum's not very good at explaining this. <laughs> you have been naughty. SBS News. No, but like, you, you have to watch. There's no, there's, no, there's no internet. There's no Disney, there's no Netflix, there's no none of that stuff. Yeah, it, ads. This is what we grew up with. When we were children, we had to watch ads. And we had to wait for our favourite shows to come on once a day. That's literally our life. Toilet? Yeah, when there's an ad, you gotta get some snacks, you get the toilet, and then you quickly come back to the show turns back on. Like, that's the life that we live in your time, guys. Alright guys, it's hand over day. The house is nearly empty. Just doing some last minute things. Crazy, eh? Hey? Look what I found guys, just getting the last of our stuff. Look at Ryan, that's when he went he was in kindy. He's so cute. He literally looks like Harper. Harper's do doppelganger. I feel like I need to have a boy now. And this was him just before we met. So we met, this is him in year 10 and we met in year 11. And I remember his hair being crazy and curly. So cute. <laughs> Look guys, here's our bedroom. All empty. Isn't it weird? Look how empty this is. I can't believe it. I still remember when we moved in. It's just insane. So many memories here. So weird. This doesn't hit me to be honest with you. 